Eve has been amazingly well behaved for being in town. Why for you like... yelled at me? <laughs> Shh! The fact that I yell at my kids is a secret. We don't want our viewers to know. Secrets exposed as the child abuse case against YouTube mom Ruby Frankie heats up. Love is a, is a gift that you offer because you have generated it inside yourself. Utah prosecutors are now digging deep, searching for any and all records related to an alleged pattern of abuse involving Frankie and her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt. The state filed a subpoena on September 14th asking for medical records of two of Frankie's children, her 12-year-old son and 10-year-old daughter, who were allegedly found malnourished and tied up using duct tape at the end of August. Police say the 12-year-old son escaped from Hildebrandt's home, running to a neighbor for help. This kid has obviously been... I think he's been... He's been detained. He's been... He's obviously covered in wounds. The judge just signed off on the subpoena that states Ruby Frankie and her attorney must provide the medical records dated on or about August 30th for both of the young children. Based on the date requested, prosecutors are specifically looking for the hospital records for Frankie's son and daughter, who were rushed into medical care once law enforcement found them bound in tape, which was found around their wrists and ankles. He was shocked, devastated, hurt felt deceived, didn't know any of that was going on. He hadn't, he hadn't seen his kids for uh, 12 months or more. The attorney for Ruby Frankie's husband spoke to Law and Crime Network earlier this month, explaining that his client, Kevin Frankie, is still legally married to Ruby, but the two have been separated for nearly a year. Ruby felt like there were differences in their marriage, and at one point, in conjunction with Jody Hildebrand, it was sort of like, uh, we, we have to separate to save our marriage. You know, we'll keep working on our marriage, but for now, you know, if, if, you're gonna sep if we're gonna repair our marriage and be back together as a family, you have to be away. Ruby and Kevin Frankie have six children together. They became popular on YouTube through their channel, Eight Passengers, where they often gave parenting advice and revealed raw and personal moments unraveling inside of their home. Some days parenting requires uncomfortable conversations, bold confrontations, and lots of squabbles. I'm gonna get down on your level. <sighs> I've noticed that you've been hiding from me and you are feeling a lot of embarrassment and shame. I don't know, you tell me what you're feeling. Mad. Mad. Because I really won't get anything this summer. I won't be able to go anywhere, no, I don't have any friends, no iPads, no TV, nothing. Okay. Now, Utah attorneys are tasked with collecting all of the evidence in the case against her, trying to determine whether or not there really is a pattern of abuse among the two children reported in the August incident, as well as Frankie's four other children. Oh, it's a pattern of behavior that, that I would anticipate if there are more children in that household, there are more abuse. I think each child is being abused. I mean, we do sometimes see one child out of a number of children being abused specifically, but in this case, if you have multiple children all being abused in similar fashion. Former FBI agent Bobby Chacon joined the Law & Crime Network's Jesse Weber on an episode of Sidebar earlier this month, breaking down the charges against Frankie and Hildebrandt, including aggravated child abuse. It's physical abuse to striking the child. It's, it's another category of physical abuse as, you know, malnourishment and, and withholding food. And now there's this emotional aspect of it. You're emotionally harming this child again, like you said, in a developmental stage of their life, which could cause permanent damage. These children are probably going to need counseling for a long time to get them back up to a mental capacity where they can thrive, where they can learn, where they can be in school and do well and succeed and stuff. And now they are, they are compromised in those areas now. And unless they get help quick and the right kind of help, um, it could be a permanent disability emotionally based on this type of abuse. Both Frankie and Hildebrandt are expected to be back in court sometime next month, but right now a date hasn't officially been set. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.